I took your advice. From now on, I'm normal. YouTube, what the fuck is up? It's your boy, me. Fuck him up, Phil. I'm back with a brand new video. I'm gonna teach y'all how to get some new clientele. 22 2 2 I meant 2022, y'all. This is my second time recording this video, y'all, because the first time, I was trying to be like SpongeBob when you turn into a circle. I was trying to be all normal. I took your advice. From now on, I'm normal. Shit, like a regular person, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all see my other videos, y'all know I'm fucking retarded, okay? So, anyways, we're not gonna be SpongeBob when he was a circle. We're not gonna be all, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? No, no. This is fuck em up feel, okay? Look, I'm gonna tell y'all the best ways how I got clientele in less than a year, okay? I'm making more money than I was making at the shipyard, which is a place where they build um, ships for the government, military ships. I was working there last year, this year. I'm not uh, less than a year. I'm making more than what I was making out there. I was making $21 an hour. They were taking shit out of our check, like benefits, taxes, and all this other bullshit. But fuck that shit, you know what I'm saying? This is how you do it. I'm gonna tell y'all some cliche ways because they work for me, and I'm gonna tell you some ways that I don't really hear a lot on videos. First, let me turn off this goddamn air compressor. Y'all got them air compressors in y'all shop, y'all be making YouTube videos, and bitches be like, <laughs> bitches are fucking retarded and annoying, man. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Look, check this out. First way, first way you're gonna make uh, money. Okay, look. <sighs> When I was first starting to cutting hair, um, like, mm, 11 months ago, I was doing like house calls and shit. A lot of house calls, pulling up on people, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. And then when I transitioned to the shop, I had those people, some of those people come started coming to the shop. So I kind of had a little bit of content, but I was only making like, maybe like $200 a week type shit, because I was doing haircuts for like $10 type shit. I transitioned to the shop, I had a little clientele, but only probably like a 150 a week type shit. Definitely probably like, Probably like no more than 200 when I first got in the shop. But what helped um, build my clientele was being in the shop, just being in the shop. Being in a barber shop um, is gonna bring you a lot of walk-ins, a lot of clients. Being first in, last out, that shit works, okay? I told y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all some cliche ways. I'm gonna tell y'all some other ways I don't really hear a lot in the video. I know this sound like some shit you hear probably in a lot of videos, being first in, last out, that shit works though. Okay, Chris Bazio, one of his videos, I heard he was like, the best barbers in his shop aren't the most booked. Like, well, he said some of the most booked barbers in his shop are not the best barbers. They struggle with almost everything, he said, or something to that effect. And he was like, but they're available. They're first in, last out, they're always there, and they become the most booked, most clientele shit. That shit worked, believe me, trust me. This going from, this coming from a guy who was at a shipyard where like almost everybody go out here to make money where I'm at, Gulf Coast, Mississippi, to fucking full-time cutting hair, bro, I'm telling y'all, be first in, be last out, you are doing it in six months, first in, last out. If you was cutting at home or whatever, even if you wasn't cutting at home, if you six months in and you in the shop, first in, last out, you gonna, you gonna build some clientele, dude. First in, last night out, if you're not making at least $600 a week within like six, seven, eight, nine months if you're not making at least six hundred dollars a week you you're not really doing it you're not really there every day first thing last out trust me that that'll build it that will build your clientele what the fuck i almost thought i had somebody pulling up i had time to cut y'all stupid ass funky ass hair right now i'm trying to make a video for my people uh second way to to build clientele i'm gonna say uh 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 fuck i probably should wrote this shit down the second way to make clientele is you gotta have a booking app. Get on a booking app like Booksy or the Cut App. Even if you had home, I, I, I'm pretty sure this shit gonna work. The Cut App is what I use because in my barber school, Mobile, Alabama, that's what the, everybody was using over there. Mobile, the Cut App. Over here in my area, uh, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, um, the Gulf Coast, Mississippi, we all, everybody use Booksy over here. But get you one of those apps because a lot of people that I never met in my life just see me on that app and just book me. Like, they really, like, it's a lot of people from out of town, they come in, they just book me on that app. That would definitely build your, help clear your clientele. Just with those two methods alone, if you're not making like at least $600 in your first six, seven, eight, nine months, you, I don't know what's wrong. Something, you, like, bro, you doing something wrong. Okay, now, the um, last three are kinda ways that I don't really hear a lot. 
um, in different videos. The third way is to make a Google listing. Like my barbershop had Royalty Barbershop already on Google. But what I did was create a, um, a Google listing that had my name in front of the barbershop's name. So it was like, the barbershop name is Royalty Barbershop. That listing already existed. So I created another one that said Philip at Royalty Barbershop. Name. So when people searching up barbershops in this area, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, my listing will pop up along with other listings, okay? If you get people to drop reviews on that listing, it'll help um, like rank higher when people search up barbershops and stuff. I have people calling me off of that listing. Like I've had people calling me off that listing. I don't know at all. They haven't seen me from social media, haven't seen me from anything else, but that Google listing, they called me and be like, um, I saw your listing on Google. Are you open? Can you give me a cut? People come from that, okay? And if you make your own Google listing like that, you can always change, if you move to a different barbershop, you can always change the barbershop's name on your list. So let's say I moved to a barbershop called Trendsetters in Ohio, in the middle of the ocean or some shit. I can just put Philip at Trendsetters in the middle of the ocean, okay? And change the location and all that, and then boom, people gonna be calling me from there, like when I move there. This right here is another method that I never heard. I completely came up with this method, the fourth method that I'm about to tell y'all right now. Okay, I was scrolling on Facebook and I was like, how the fuck can I get some clients off, off Facebook, right? So I thought of, I'm gonna go to people's page, and I'm gonna click on their friends, and I'm gonna go to all friends. Some people you can't go to all friends because they're in like privacy, the way their Facebook set up, but the ones who you can go to all friends, I would go to people in my surrounding areas and in this city, I would click on their page, go to all friends, I would scroll down to guys' pages that was like in the area or in surrounding city areas, like around here, and I would just be like, hey, I'm a new barber over here, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, Road to Barbershop, I'm doing $10 cuts for um, all new clients who get a text from me. I got so many people from that. I was doing that, and then I found a more efficient way, which is go find a girl page in your area or surrounding area in the city or whatever, you know how most of be simping over these girls, putting all these damn hearts and likes and all that shit, commenting on each other's page and all that shit. Go to them, them pictures, click on the likes, cause it's gonna be a more concentrated group of guys in that area, like where she's from. Cause like when you go to all friends, it'll be like people from all different states and shit like that. If you, it'd be like that in the likes too, but it's more people from like that area, like from where she's at. If she's like in your city or some around the city, so. I, that made that way it made it more easy for me to um, contact more guys. Just go to those likes. I'm telling you, dead ass, this shit works. I'm not lying. Like the next day after I thought of this, somebody was in my chair from that, from doing that, doing that DM. I was just DMing, DMing. The next day, somebody was in my chair, and throughout that week, I had more people and more people coming from Texas, and like they just kept coming. That shit worked. Now I done kind of ran through pretty much all the people in my area that I could find and likes and friends and shit like that. Um, so like if I click on somebody, if I click on the girls like now, like most of them gonna be like, you already friends with them, you already friends with them, you already friends with them, so. But if you, especially if you're in a big, bigger city um, or a bigger area, whatever, you can do that. You're gonna get a lot of people coming in. Cause I had people coming in like almost every day after I started doing that. Like, dead ass. And, um, oh yeah, I only do the $10. My cuts, I charge $20 right now, cutting beard. I can charge more than that, but I just choose to stay at 20. But I do that one time $10 cut with the message. Like, the first time you come in, they get the $10 cut, the next time it's full price. So don't don't think I'm cutting for $10. That's just like a one time thing if they got a text message from me. Now the fourth method is the same thing, but it's in person with a card, with a business card. Like, let me show y'all my business card, huh? Uh, it's the same thing. I spelled clients wrong. I know that's because my name is fuck em up Phil, not perfect Phil, okay? Fuck em up. But this is what my car looks like. Info on the back, address on the bottom, social media and shit. Um, yeah. But it says $10 cut for new clients only. So if I give a card to somebody, I'd be like, hey, I'm doing $10 cuts to new clients only who get a card for me. I only, I pass out cars. I try to go out and pass out cars like a lot, but yeah, I do the same thing with the cars, but in person, I have not gotten as many people 
with the cars as I've gotten from that method from like going into like a girl's likes and DM dudes. I only had, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I go to places to try to pass out cars because I know it's still promotion and shit. And like anytime I try to go out or something like that, I always turn it into like just passing out cars because it's just who I am. But um, I only had two people come to me off passing out cars. People, I'll give cards to them in person. They'll be like, oh, I'm gonna come to you. They'll text me right then, see my number on the baby, like, hey, I'm coming to you uh, tomorrow or some shit. I get a cut. Or they'll tell me right then, oh, yeah, I'm gonna come to you. Uh, I'm gonna come up to you tomorrow. They'll tell me in person or something like that. Bruh, only two people have come to me. I would think, I would think a more personal relationship, like building up rapport, handing out cards like that, shit like that would be, would get people to more come in more. You know what I'm saying? Because they, like, you met them already. You, like in person in their face with shit. But I done had so many, I can't even, I can't even count how many people come in from the DM method. I'm doing it like, like that way, instead of just passing out cards. So that is the way, but that shit this way don't really work too much for me. But I mean, two people came in, they showed me it worked, but it's, it ain't like a high percentage of people coming in, but I'm still do it. But anyways, uh, yeah, y'all, um, if y'all do all these things though, within less than a year of you being in a barbershop though. Do a little bit of like house call before you go into a barbershop, if you can, probably for like, maybe like three months, three, four months, and then go to the shop. Um, even when you do that though, you probably only gonna have like, maybe make like $200 a week. But in less than a year from me doing all these methods, um, I've gotten, I don't wanna put my business out there, but bro, it's crazy how fast it just took off. Like, you gonna have clientele. You gonna make money, okay? Just do that shit, okay? Fucking do it.